Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I've been looking forward to filming this video for a couple weeks now. Finally got everything slapped together where we can come out to the range here at Heavy Metal and get this baby sighted in and ready for turkey season. Spring turkey season here in Tennessee. We are allowed three bearded dragons, three bearded turkeys, and I've got four kids that have their lifetime hunting license. I got mine, so uh, we're not going to take 15 turkeys, but we're going to try to get uh, one or two or three here before the spring turkey season is up. But that's a whole lot of yapping. Let me show you my setup here. I'm going to show you up close everything, tell you all the details. That way you won't have to ask me the questions. But yeah, the gist of it is, ah, I'll just show you up close because I'll surely forget something. So, let's talk about the shotgun here quick. Big shout out to Gun Prime. That's where I picked up this Bang Bang. This is an Eternal Rev 410 revolving cylinder shotgun. How cool is that? I'll show you all the way up to the front. It's got a red fiber optic sight up front. If you were to not put that rail on there, and then there's the rear sight there. So it does have sights on it factory. And it came with that pick rail also, believe it or not. So again, that's an Eternal Rev 410 that we picked up from Gun Prime. Big shout out to Gun Prime. Look at that wood out here in the sun, man. Woo! So, that's the 410 we're working with here. And then on top, this is the Crimson Trace CT Rad Max Pro. Has a battery life of 50,000 hours. It has a recessed optic lens. It has IPX7 waterproof design. You can put that sucker underwater. It has auto shut off, so you don't have to worry about turning it off and worry about it all night. It's got a motion sensor, so it detects movement and turns itself on. How awesome is that? It has what they call the CT radiant sensor, so an ambient light sensor. It automatically can adjust how bright or dark it needs to be based on where you're at and the brightness in the room or outside. It also comes with a pick rail mount. You can see that I've got it mounted on the pick rail of this shotgun here. And then this one also comes with a riser. So if you were to put it on your AR or something like that, it already comes with the riser. For the purpose of the shotgun, I didn't use the riser, but if I were to put this on my AR, I definitely would use the riser that came with this thing. Rev 410 shotgun, Eternal Rev 410, we picked up from Gun Prime. Then we've got this Crimson Trace Rad Max Pro. What all else is there left to talk about? We're going to be feeding this baby some of this Remington TSS. 3 inch shells, 1100 feet per second, 9 shot, and it's got 13 sixteenths ounce of shot in there. So, we're going to be flinging this Remington TSS 410 out of this baby, using the sight on this baby. I know that was a whole lot to get through, but I knew if I didn't walk through, everybody would be asking me questions. So there you have it. Now let's go fling some out of it. All right, so check it out. Here's what I just did. I put my laser bore sighter out here on the end of this 410, just like I would a center fire, a deer chasing bang bang, and got it to where I think we should be dead on. When it comes to 410, hey, these days that stuff isn't cheap. We don't want to be willy nilly out here just spraying and praying. So use that laser bore sighter just like I would anything else. Let's take our first shot out here at 10 yards. I drew us a little turkey. At 10 yards out here, let me zoom you in out here. Oh, that's a slow zoom. So, out there at 10 yards, I drew us a little turkey head. That might be a little bigger than it should be, but you get the point. Hopefully we'll be dead on. Based off that first shot, we might make an adjustment or two. Then we'll do some grouping, just so we know how this 410 does at 10 yards, maybe 20 yards, and maybe even go out to 30 yards. Before I take this first shot at 10 yards, I feel like I gotta say, this is kind of a smoke them if you got them situation. So, I don't have some kind of crazy turkey choke on here. I don't have some kind of crazy long barrel 410 for getting those turkeys at 100 yards, but this is the 410 that I have that I'm gonna be taking my sons out. So, obviously, we could go spend a bunch of money 
and get this stuff to group you know that big at 80 yards but hey we're smoking them because we got them this is the 410 we have and i think it's going to be a really slick setup for my sons and me to be taking after turkeys but this red 410 there's no choke in it so just kind of prefacing that before we take this first shot obviously if we could get a little bit tighter patterns with a little bit different setup but hey that's what we got to work with. Let's take this shot at 10 yards, see where we're at, see how it does. All right, so I don't think I showed you this yet. Revolving cylinder 410. Take one of those Remington TSSs. The cylinder goes that way. And we're gonna take our first shot at 10 yards here. I think we ought to be pretty close. Woo, that's a clear red dot. I've had my eyeballs on a lot of red dots, and this is definitely a clear one. I'm going to aim right center where I got that cross. Alright, I definitely think we hit the paper plate. Let's go up there and take a closer look. We might need to adjust it just a hair. Alright, so walking up to our target here, definitely got some all over that turkey, but the average was a little bit high so looks like the average was just about in there somewhere so I'm gonna bring that down just a shade and we'll take another shot at 10 and then we'll probably go back to 20 and take a shot just so I know we're out there in the turkey woods and if we find the turkey we got to get him at 20 we'll know how this is gonna work for us all right so I made an adjustment brought it down a little bit Let's take another shot here at 10 yards. We should be just about dead on. And from there, I'm going to take us out to 20. That way we'll know either where to hold or if I just want to adjust the red dot a little bit. But load up another one of those TSSs here. Give her another whirl. I didn't replace the paper, but I did replace the turkey. The paper plate with the turkey drawn on it, rather. All right, let's go see how we did. I might have adjusted it the wrong way. You got to be kidding me! I adjusted it the wrong way. Well, we just burned another TSS shell, didn't we? Yep, I turned it the wrong way. I brought the red dot down when I should have took it up. Let's look at the other camera yep our average went even higher well hold on let me uh make an adjustment on the red dot and we'll take another shot it's about time i i turned the scope the wrong way we haven't done that in a while let me redo it and we'll take another crack all right here we go made a quick adjustment we should be a lot closer to the center uh pretty sure i i moved it the right way this time but same thing i'm gonna add aim right for the middle of that turkey spot here see where we hit should be a lot better this time i hope and yeah i think we covered that turkey neck pretty good let's take a closer look i think that's pretty good pretty close to where we want to be right there I might bring it back up just a couple little clicks. Well, you got to see me here. <laughs> you don't got to. All right, now, I've stepped off 20 yards here. Got my one shell of that Remington TSS here. And uh, we'll see what we get here this time. 20 yards. Should be worse than the 10 yards, right? Oh. <clears throat> See what we get. I can't tell from this far away, but let's go check it out. See how we did. So, here we go walking up to it. So, how did we do on this turkey brand here? Looks like you got one two three four five in the neck how much in the dome one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 
maybe 12, sliced his hairs 13, gave him a little tickle, and 14 in the in the gizzard and one in the nose. So maybe 15 in the head and however many we counted in the neck. I don't know. But hey, that would have dropped that turkey for sure. And honestly, probably for using this 410 and taking my kids out with it, this is probably where I'm going to call the limit. We could do 30 and 40 just to see what happens. But looking at this with this setup for taking my kids out, I probably wouldn't want them taking out more than 20 yards anyway. So there you have it, guys. We're ready to rock and roll. Hopefully get my kids on some turkeys here soon. All right, guys, there you have it. I think we are ready to rock and roll and take my boys out after some turkeys. Now we just got to find some places with some turkeys. I've got one spot, but that place is bow only, so we're probably going to take a turkey with bow or crossbow with the kids first, but working on finding some places to take them. But, hey, there you have it. There is my eternal Rev 410 slinging that Remington TSS and on top that Crimson Trace CT Rad Max Pro. Woo doggy. That's probably the most crisp red dot I've ever put my eyeballs on. Y'all definitely go check those out. I'll try to find a link where you guys can find these, but man, super, super sweet setup. If anything, it's a whole lot of fun out here slinging this 410. Now, I've got my 12 gauge, of course. We can stretch that baby out. I've, I've group tested it out to 80 yards and it's a heavy hitter. But like I said, for taking the kids out, I think that this is absolutely perfect. It's not going to knock their teeth out, but it's got enough sauce on it where they can grab them a turkey out in the turkey woods. And I really like having this red dot, uh, especially for the kids. I like it a whole lot better, but even much more so for the kids over having them try to sight up all this stuff with the excitement of the birds out there. You know, all that whole thing. It's a whole lot easier. Uh, for me and also for the kids to pick up that real clear red dot put it on that turkey and blast them away and we take them home to supper but appreciate y'all watching this thing it's a hoot again appreciate gun prime that's where we found this 410 when 410s are hard to find but appreciate y'all i could yap about this all day let me know what you think about it comment down below what you want to see next time make sure you're subscribed make sure you're subscribed to heavy metal appreciate y'all We'll see you on the next one. Hootie hoo! Load it up and get it all as soon as you can. 30 off 6, 10 mil, 50 cap. It don't make a difference, man. We like to.